Qualcomm set out to create a mobile CPU that can compete with what Apple has been able to do with their mobile CPUs. Now, thanks to the Snapdragon 8 Elite chip by Qualcomm, it has successfully been able to do that for Android phones. The Snapdragon 8 Elite 2 not only was able to rival Apple, it also surpassed it in some areas. Now, following up on that success is the next major task for Qualcomm. Thankfully, we are starting to get some early information about what those specs are for the next version of the Snapdragon 8 Elite chip, as well as the benchmarks. So in this video, I'm gonna go over what some of those specs are, as well as break down the early benchmarks from the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2. But before we dive deep into all that information, if you're new to the channel and enjoy staying up to date with the latest tech news, you've landed at the right place. Do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and hit the like button if you enjoy the type of content. All right, let's dive into this. Thought Snapdragon 8 Elite was a monster. Here are the first eight Elite Gen 2 specs. Now, this is an article out of AndroidAuthority.com. So, as I said in my intro, Snapdragon 8 Elite uh, chip was very successful for Android manufacturers, and you see all of the Android manufacturers going with the Snapdragon 8 Elite chip. It has been able to close the gap with Apple, and in terms of multi-thread application, it has surpassed Apple in terms of the benchmark numbers and what it's been able to do. So, Gen 2 is coming, and we're hoping that that can not only continue to improve, but maybe even surpass Apple and possibly take the crown. But let's get into this article right here. So we have a leaker that has pointed out a lot of the information. This leaker name is Digital Chat Station, has posted some specs for the tentatively named Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2, uh, the model number is going to be SM8850. Uh, the chip points to a set of second generation Orion CPU cores featuring two prime cores and six performance cores. Now this is in line with what the current chipset is in, so this uh, seems to validate a lot of information. Uh, the new processor will also have the Adreno 840 GPU and will be built on the TSMC uh, and 3p process and this is a more advanced 3 nanometer process than what the current snapdragon 8 elite 3e is on so uh, this typically means that the chip should be a little bit smaller and more efficient uh, the chipset will support sme1 and sve2 extensions uh, these architecture extensions enhance operations related to machine learning computer vision and more so think ai so the uh Artificial intelligence capabilities of the Gen 2 chip should be uh, markedly improved thanks to uh, the support of those two components there. The new architecture brings mandatory support for security features like uh, memory tagging extension, uh, MTE. Uh, MTE is used to protect against some memory related flaws and powers the advanced memory protection features on the Pixel 8 series. So the Pixel 8 uh, has that in there already. Uh, there's no word on the CPU clock speed but uh, according, but the current clock speed of the Snapdragon is uh, 4.32 gigahertz. So we assume that obviously they should be able to surpass that and give us more clock speeds. Now I talked about what the early benchmarks are. So Qualcomm A Elite 2 has its N22 scores um, lead. So this is the early benchmarks right here. So according to the early benchmark, uh, we have a score of 3.8 million or the N22 uh, benchmarks for uh, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip. Uh, now, by comparison, if we can go over here and look at the N22 charts, we can see that the IQ0013 running the Snapdragon 8 Elite is the highest score right now, coming in at over 2.69 million, almost 2.7 million. So, it, what you call it is the Snapdragon 8 Elite, Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 is coming in at 3.8 million. We're talking about a 41% increase over what we currently have from uh, the Snapdragon or the best Snapdragon phone out there right now. Now, again, this is early. This is benchmarks. It may not actually translate to real world scenarios, but we will see. But these early numbers are very promising for Qualcomm and the next version of Snapdragon uh, 8 Elite. So this is looking exciting for all the Android people out there who are looking to continue to get that performance and continuing to close that gap with Apple. So it looks like uh, Qualcomm is well on their way according to these early 
it leaks and uh, they benchmark scores right now. But again, this is early. Uh, things can change depending on what they decide to go with and how it actually performs what they actually put it in a phone and put it through real world scenarios. But right now it is looking promising for Qualcomm and Snapdragon. So let me know what you guys think about this um, inf early information down in the comment section below. Do you think uh, they can perform as well? And do you think with this Gen 2, can they actually get to the point where in single thread they can actually surpass us uh, uh, mostly what Apple has been doing and continue to just raise the bar and go further with the multi-threaded applications? Uh, let me know down in the comment section. Definitely want to know what you guys think about that. Uh, once again, thank you for taking time out to watch this video. If you enjoy staying up to date with the latest tech news, do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and hit that like button as well. Now, chances are, if you enjoy this type of content, you may have friends or family that enjoy this, so make sure you share this with them. Now, if you want to stay up to date with the latest tech news, head over to soundstory.com, where I curate and aggregate tech news from around the web, covering Apple, Samsung, Google, Android, computing, and even more general tech news, all at the website soundstory.com. And for even more tech news in video form, check out one of these two videos right here. Until next video, guys, stay nerdy.